The city is preparing to open up shelters for migrants that have been processed. The two El Paso IST vacant schools are on standby to receive migrants. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxler joins us live in West El Paso in front of one of them. And Carla, are there any preparations underway uh, at the school behind you? I know you've been out there for uh, most of the day. Yeah, Andy, we're not really seeing much activity at the moment. The shelters are still closed. The one here uh, at Moorhead Middle School and the other one in Northeast El Paso at Bassett Middle School. They're not open just yet, but if you remember back in December, they were open and the city has not broken them down ever since. So right now they're ready to receive migrants once again. While hundreds of migrants sleep on the street, the city is preparing two shelters, one in vacant Bassett and the other at Moorhead Middle Schools. Those shelters meant only for migrants that have been processed. If we do offer any services through money that's given to us by the federal government, uh, that money would not be available to us at that point. So far, the city has received a little over $20 million of federal funding, and they want to make it last. They will be opening the shelters depending on the needs. Everybody wants to know how many people can we put in these facilities. That's to be determined. It determines on the population that we're seeing. Single adult males, you don't want to put thousands of them in one facility. Family units, you want to give them some privacy. Both of these shelters were opened back in December, and one resident who lives by Bassett says he didn't feel safe. I don't like it. I don't stand for it. I feel that, you know, uh, we're all human, but, you know, there's a process in place of how to do things. While the city declared emergency for funding, the county commissioner's court decided not to follow along. I personally, last time, we didn't get anything out of having an emergency declaration. County Judge Ricardo Samaniego says he fears the state of emergency will trigger state's response that he thinks is not helpful. I mean, we, all we got was more you know, patrols and barbed wire, and that doesn't help because when you're channeling properly, then you can control the flow. When you start blocking them, they come through all the sites, they go further and further out. And like I said, these shelters are not open just yet, but once they are, this is where migrants that have been processed will be coming. They'll be staying here for a couple of days and then they'll be moving on once they get their transportation to larger hubs. Reporting live in West El Paso, I'm Carla Draxler. Back to you, Andy.